I like very much Rodolfo Refati. And uh, I, I tried to do geometric a bit, but I uh, reinterpret the geometry. I add things to it. But uh, my painting has all the time structure, as you notice. Look at the catalog. Everything, I'm using structure, but not geometric. I'm expressing, I'm trying to express life itself. So it says, it's, 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 it cannot be all A's. It has to have a thing like mass that way. Now the mass meeting contract, fighting each other, or kissing each other, whatever. But the mass are, are not geometric, but they are mass. But it started by geometry to make it, maybe, but not for long. It was only a way to go to what I became later. So it was because I didn't want them few fluffy thing. I like I like 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 storm pushing itself on life or on the earth and moving thing and reflecting reflecting on each other and so and I could not go just like that I needed form and as you notice my painting there is always form mm -hmm. and so maybe I started with geometry for getting form but there was one period that uh, it was really quite geometric. The one that like an arrow. Mm -hmm. that, uh, then I must say that I was influenced by, by the going to the moon. The two going into space, water. And the, if I had not been a painter, I would have been a scientist maybe, if I had had money to go to university. But science always fascinated me. Knowledge of the world, knowledge of life, the way life evolved, evolved. And so, not surprising that when we started to go to space, I got so excited. I thought, wonderful. And now we're going to Mars and all. And we know that there is loads of, of, of planets like Earth. Earth is, we thought Earth was Earth. But, and, the, and there was the moon, and there was the sun, and that was it. Oh, now we know very well that there is thousands of planets. Well, the first place I went to to Europe, and I, that's why I met my husband. There was an exhibition of the automatis, and and I spoke some Italian and some I mean bad Italian, but some Italian, and I spoke French and English. So they asked me to greet the people at the at the exhibit, that was an exhibition of the automatis. And, and I was trying to, uh, I had been at the, at the entrance to direct the people towards other artists. And so, so that's how I met my husband. I tried to speak to him. In French, he didn't understand. I spoke to him in Italian, he didn't understand. I started English, 
He didn't understand. So I introduced him to somebody that spoke English among the, the, the group of friends of the automatist that was. I think I introduced him to Jean-Paul Mousseau. And, and so on and so forth. And, and I met a wonderful person there, Topazia Eliata. She was supposed to be the principal of Topazia Eliata. She was broke. She had a car that was terrible. But she had... But in Italy, you know, the fact that I, I was with the principessa, it opened the door for me. It's incredible. They still believe in that. And she and she was the Muslim. And when I would say to Patia, let's meet tomorrow, she said, yes, after breakfast. What time? Oh, about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. She didn't get up to a break. She had to have to get herself organized. She was absolutely crazy and wonderful. I remember we were going somewhere and she was driving the car. And one moment she said, hold the wheel because I have to make up. But I didn't know how to drive for God's sake. But anyway, that's typical of her personality. We became very great friends. I think that can't meet each other or conflict with each other or when that talk to each other. Mass of color that create a yellow that that become bringing the sun. One thing that about the sun that they are going to redo it in in Toronto. I did a, a mural for the subway. It was a glass mural, skylight, and it was so wonderful. I brought light and joy into the space. I thought it's so fantastic. People are going to work or going to joyful thing or sad thing. Give them light and joy and and the, the light passing through the, the the glass mural naturally did it was very wonderful but it, what happened is the, the engineer that was organizing thing was maybe a good engineer, but he forgot one thing, that this, that this thing can break. And he made sure that the structure was very strong, mm. but he didn't protect the glass. This year they tell me that they at last get the budget to be remake it, because they have all my all of my drawing there, not only my drawing, I made each panel on the paper, uh, the size of the panel, and with the, and the, what, and there was a, a, a photography, photograph that made all the color. So they can remake it. And they said that they at last got the, I got, on the day of my opening, the guy said, uh, the engineer told me, we got at last the budget. Wow. We're going to redo it. Oh, I'm so happy. Because I, I thought it brought so much beauty to the world, joy in it, bring them life, which my mural did, my skylight did, and will do it again. I'm so happy. And how long it will take them to do. I did, not only the, I did the, the model, but I did, the, I did it larger. And then I did the, the full size 
drawing of this of each panel so out of it they did the glass of it so I guess they have this is that they have everything so I guess they have that there was no reason they wanted to put some part of it there so God willing it will be The owner of that building sold the building. He had retired and sold the building. And the guy that bought the company, the older guy that bought it, decided that he wanted it to be white. So he repainted it. Have it repainted white. So it is a nice white wall. I like the fact that I can see painting of Rembrandt, of 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 uh, Heinz, of all the great painter. So I think maybe I think I'm a great painter. <laughs> Who knows? I can dream. Of, uh, everybody dream, and I I I did painting for giving thing to the world. To, to, I did it to, to give it. I'm giving my way of thinking of the of life in the painting. This is what I'm putting in my painting. I've put in my painting. That's what it is to, to do a painting. It's not only for yourself, it's to give and I want the more people that can see it, the more some of them will say, hmm, what, a, what is that? But some other people will communicate with it. So that's important. It's an aspect of life that you put in a, on a painting. You try to interpret life, give it to other people, your interpretation is maybe maybe demanding. You demand very much out of the world, but maybe you maybe you give. Maybe some people that see something that they say, "Oh my God, this is another aspect of life that I had not thought about. That didn't occur to me." And for example. The smile of Mona Lisa, not everybody feel it, but some people did, and some people do, and it gave them something. And same thing for some Picasso painting, some painting from Rembrandt, from, from Matisse, it give, it's a giving when you put a painting. If you're a real artist, the word sunrise I use it often because sunrise is it a wonderful moment in life? It is. It's the beginning of a day, beginning of life. Sunrise. It's expressive. You know, the first very large painting I did, I did it in California at the university. My husband, they, there was a symposium of sculpture, large sculpture, all, sculpture from all over the world. And one moment I was walking with my husband. He was not my husband yet, but he was going to be my husband soon. And, and the, the the director of the symposium. He says, "You've no, oh, yeah, it was my husband because I think he said your husband told me that you would like to do large work." I said, "That's right." He says, and he, he says, "Comments." He showed me. He, said, he says, "What do you think about that wall?" 
and then we find it. Believe me. It was about 24 feet high by 20 feet or 18 feet wide. And it was at 10 feet from the ground because it was all the building. It was uh, the, the odd between two buildings. And, and I my, I'm sure my heart stopped. But I revived. I said, I love it. But inside I was shaking. And then I started to make some sketch for it and sketch for it. Till I got the one that is there still. And because I, I had, when I did the, the painting, I had done also big full scale sketch of it, full size. And I, and I gave them also, they made some very large photo of it. And on each of the photo, I marked what color, what the name of the company, of the color, and what is it exactly, and so on and so forth on each side. So they can reproduce. I, I, I they came, because few, what, 10 years later, they had some, hmm, some school kid that had to, made the idea of destroying everything around and I threw very many things on my painting. So I re remade it. I mean, there was enough of it, but I had to get the color, the same color and everything. And, and you know, I had a fantastic idea. I was on this, there was no scaffold, literally. It was very dangerous, but uh, but before being afraid, I think about it. Should I be afraid or not? I have no reason to be afraid. I'll be careful. Some years later, many years later, when I, I had a good scaffolding that was automatic, but then it was not. It was quite dangerous, but I never been afraid. I don't believe in being afraid. That's not being afraid is to be frozen, is to be careful. That is important. And that's all. So I did it twice on the scaffold that was very I know very dangerous. But the last time I did it properly. And they have the, the name of every color and where the company and how much and so on and so forth. And they can remake it. And they call, they, a few years later, they asked me to renovate it, some part of it. I said, you have it, you do it. You have all the information. And they, they told me they did. Because, you know, first of all, it's in California. And it was not in a, sh a shady sun place, but there is enough sun in, in the world, in California, for, to make it the color be faded. But they had all the information. mother of my mother certainly did influence me very much but she influenced me in never be afraid of anything think the, the first time it happened to me it was there was I was with my mother picking strawberry in the field in the, in the country and the storm started and and it became with thunder and thing and I it was not far away from my grandmother's home, 
And so we went to my grandmother's home. And I was 35. And grandmother showed me the beauty of it. Instead of being afraid to admire and love it. And I think she was certainly one of the most important things in my life. Never be afraid. See things as they are. It's dangerous, you be careful. You take care of it. You're not, it's difficult. You just organize yourself to be able to do it. But the important thing is to do what is important. What you think is important. What is, what is beauty of life, the beauty of life, of the world. Not the object, each of them. Each tree is beautiful in itself, but it's, uh, it's the, the universe that is beautiful. I don't know what, what from what group my grandmother came from, but I think it was Abenaki. I think so. Because there was an Abenaki reserve not far away from where she lived. Anyway, my, my father was more interested in his French influence. He must have had some uh, Amerindian blood also because everybody had. But he wanted to be French. So it's okay. Each other. Everybody has to think the way they can think they will understand the world. So, my, no, I remember my, my grandmother. My mother was more interested in her children than about all her children. She was interested also in her children. Like for example, she used to tell me, stop reading, you'll kill your eyes. Guess what, maybe, I did, no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> because I was so interested in knowing. I think if I had not been a, an artist, I would have been a scientist. But I would have been, if I had that money, we were living by charity most of the time. <laughs> you know? And school was free. And I was going to school. Or did I get the book? I don't know. Do I remember? Naturally not. But I know that I like to study. I know that I like to know, to understand. And I still do. It's in my favorite book, a scientific book. And can you imagine? Did you know that the brain is made of two parts? One left and one right? and the, each part functions differently. I didn't know that, yes. It's so strange, isn't it? Yeah. The left brain is more involved with intellectual and scientific thing. You understand better. The right brain is more communicative and more, understand, more interested in, in understanding and more artistic, more, uh, more creative. So, and the combination of both make a human being. This is, you know, all sorts of things like that. This is like your paintings, the, the two sides speaking to each other. Yeah. Like the brain. It, it's, it's so one, so if I had been from a rich family and going to, school and university. I don't know if I would have been a painter. Maybe I would have been. But I would certainly want to be a scientist also. Because science is fascinating for me. And uh, it's a way to understand life. It's just so important. I love. So when they tell me about Novel, give me a break. It's <laughs> for somebody else. It's good for somebody.
I feel very much part of this part of that some people that I recognize that I'm part of the their life, that life of, of this place. I had lived for quite a long time in Toronto. And not only that, I honestly it's not only Toronto. It's the way the people think. And I'm I'm so glad that some people don't recognize that I wanted to talk to them, talk to them with my painting. It's better than work. Well, for me, it's better than work. A writer is better with work. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very happy.